something I'm looking for. What did we search when they gave a description of him? Man, 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 oh man, oh man. Okay. I feel like I'm going in circles, but I, I'm just like, it's not clicking. I think he spoke to Helen. She said he was upset about her argument, but I'm not sure what else he said. He searched the rock, right? Thirty, twenty-five. I feel like, okay, mirror. Because I feel like, I need to read what, okay. My name is Hannah, H-A-N-N-A-H. It's pound head. It reads the same backwards as forwards. It doesn't work if you mirror it though, it's not quite so Check the database on your Please screen. Sorry. Hannah Smith, I live at 31 Gladstone Street. What? Oh, oh yeah, because she's talking about her name. The mirror. I can't remember. I put it somewhere safe. Upstairs, I think. I haven't looked at it since. Six twenty-five. Yes. I inherited it from my parents, so it made sense to move back, me and Simon. Felt like going back to old ways, before the pregnancy. It reminded me of being a girl, a dollhouse in the attic, old things. We didn't sleep in my parents' bedroom for a long time. We decorated it as soon as we moved in, but it was another year before we started sleeping there. Sleeping in your parents' bed? Oh. I'll get a new bed. Yes. I read a lot as a child and watched lots of TV. Then the doll's house we had, we still have in the attic. It's kind of a fairy castle. We used to play up there and make up our own stories. I'm not sure where the dollhouse came from. I don't know if it was given to them or they inherited it. And they wouldn't have had the money to buy it. It was so huge. It must have been taken up to the attic in parts and then reassembled up there. It's a beautiful thing. Wallpaper to scale. Little furniture. The lights work. Mirrors, beds. <laughs> Thank you. And pillows. We spent hours and hours playing in it, invented all these characters and families who lived there. We wrote paperwork for them all, passports, diaries, and gave them all really elaborate stories. Once, a moth got trapped in there. We'd left a light on. It was making the most horrendous noise. We tried to kill it, but it was tough. We ended up crushing it under a copy of the Arabian Nights. Hmm. The legal stuff was completed very quickly. Hannah moved back in with Simon. Eric gave Simon the week off to help with the move. He decorated, modernised wallpaper curtains. Can insist the attic be left as it was, dollhouse and all. Simon never went up there. Okay. Guys, stop. Let me figure this out, guys. Please, please, please. Calm yourselves. The bruise. I have a really fast metabolism, so stuff like that just comes and goes. I don't know if there's much more that I can tell you that I haven't already told the other policemen. I found the body. 
Things wrong. The bags, I, I think they were from our kitchen. You could probably check that. We never go into the cellar. It's just a place we put things we don't need. My dad used to grow mushrooms there. The, the bags were taped up. I think it was parcel tape, but I think it was ours. Well, fine, considering. I got back into the house today, and that was weird, knowing your people have been there through my things. It's like I've been burgled. I mean, worse, obviously. I don't know. I haven't lived in the cellar yet. They sent a cleaner in, as good as new, he said. But they had to throw some stuff out could have get the blood out. And I'm still waiting to hear from the coroner so we can get a date set for the funeral. It's going to be a cremation. So. Yes. Just trying to, like, it was a cremation. Got a vest. We both wore black and had veils, so it was easy. And after the funeral, everyone came back to the house. I had served up sandwiches. And I stayed out of sight. Momoko's quiet, you know, shit's serious. I know, I know, I'm like not even talking yet. I don't know what to say, man. My mind is just like going in circles. I'm, I'm just trying to like find as much video as I can right now to put everything together. I haven't even written anything down because it's just like nothing makes sense. So there's like nothing to write. Um... Oh my god. 6.25. Okay. I've given blood before. Do you need to take that few records? <laughs> Nothing like this has ever happened to me before. Blood. It's probably the worst thing that's ever happened to me. Like I said before, it was three, something like that. I walked in, saw Simon. He was on the floor of the living room. His throat had been cut. Yes, this is Simon. There was a lot of blood. Living room, though. Instead, so he was found in living room with his throat cut. Okay, I was pretty sure it was Simon because they were talking about the glasses and stuff. She was sat behind him. She had my wig on. And she'd been there all day. And she had blood on her. And she was in shock. Wow. If that, okay. 
Wow, okay, so that actually pieces together the theory about Simon with Eve and that story about the bar thing. Because she was talking about she works at the bar in that encounter with like like with the guy who was married who said that she looked familiar, but she wears a blonde wig. She's Helen. Eve is Helen at the bar, or I, I think so, yeah, so. So, Eve... Hmm. I don't know what I'm trying to- what am I- okay. Like, I don't know what I'm trying to do. Am I just supposed to, like, when I realize it or something, I just stop? Or is there, like, a- Endpoint or... Oh my god, okay. A wig, you mean? But what type of wig? No, I've never worn a wig. What kind of wig? This other person doesn't exist. I don't know what the blonde wig is, but it could be anything. Have you looked at the cat flap? Why is she saying she doesn't know anything about the wig? Hmm. So a little bit of confused about who's who, but... The parents decided there would be a wedding. And after the wedding, Hannah moved in with his parents. There was no way I could follow, so we were separated again. I stayed in the attic. It was hard. It was like I suddenly didn't exist. I would sneak out, but in case anyone recognised me, I started wearing a wig. Hannah and I would meet up in the park. I was trying to get pregnant, but I couldn't. I mean, I couldn't do it with anyone we knew, so it was sex with strangers. Drug guys I'd met in clubs, in parks, in alleyways. I was 17. It felt like I was being punished. Mm. It was Hannah who had betrayed us. I had to stop when one of the guys gave me an STD. Well, well, that's going to happen if you do that. When we met up, it was disturbing. For the first time, my reflection, she didn't look like me. She was fatter, flushed. If anything, I was getting skinnier. I found it hard to look sometimes. We talked about what to do. Was it time to become our own people? I mean, that seemed like the right thing to do, but... Neither of us wanted it. We agreed that her and Simon would get their own place as soon as possible, and then I could move in. And that was the plan. This is like, just like a very strange relationship. Nine people, family. strange people. I went round and she was waiting for me. She was furious and so Angry, the kind of anger you can only have towards yourself. We screamed at each other, argued, cried, we fought. I hit her back, left a bruise. I had my wig on from performing, she tore it off. Eventually, we grew tired of fighting and I left. search next. I did Helen already, right? Uh, 
We did what we just said wig. Crying. There's so many videos. She's crying, I guess. She's sad because she thought she saw her husband with another woman. But it's okay because she finds out it wasn't her husband, it was his brother. And so it's fine. Don't tell me Simon has a twin. I'm gonna I'm going to break my head if I find out that Simon is a twin as well. She sent him out of the house, kicked him out, called me up crying and I went round. I guess I had a feeling I could hear something was wrong in her voice, but I wasn't sure what it was. She called me sister on the phone. She never calls me that. So many videos. When she went home, Sam had a birthday tea waiting. Afterwards, she told Simon about me, told him I was pregnant. She wanted me to move in with them, this sister he didn't know she had. She knew that instant. The look on his face. Yeah. She knew that he was bad. My sister is gone. And she's never coming back. Seven two. We have no seven two videos. We have seven two videos. Twins. What? <laughs> really? Are you really asking me that question? Me? Yeah. Enough said. Thank you for the three month resub. Enough. Thank you very very much. <laughs> Are you out of your mind? Twins. Florence took me home with her. Mother hadn't been expecting twins and had a healthy baby. Who was this Florence? I guess she was just happy for Florence to clean up. Take away the evidence that this was anything but a happy occasion. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, okay. There were always princes and princesses. They were the special people, more important than the other characters in their stories. We knew we were like that. Twins. Magical. We were the princesses. We had a poster of Princess Diana from the newspaper up in our attic. Had a pride of place. And underneath we used to put all our special things. What's that snake in the shadow? When her engagement was announced, we were obsessed with everything she did. And later, when her life went so bad, we felt for her. Her divorce last year just kind of drew a line under things. What? 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 There's no other videos about a divorce? Florence raised me in her home. I never left it. She kept me out of sight. It wasn't odd for people to see a midwife with a baby, carrying in supplies, washing nappies, that sort of thing. I never knew any different. I grew up looking out of my window and seeing her across the road. I thought it was like a reflection in the mirror. She was me. She was me, I was her. Okay, 
I'll be right back in just a minute. I'm so confused. I am so confused. My god. I keep getting through these like waves of like understanding and confusion and it's just like, oh. Oh. Florence was a warm, kind person. But she was broken, I guess. When I found her diary, I also found a biscuit tin with other stuff. Ooh, we gotta search diary. All the papers, letters, that kind of thing. Her story was in there. I never really spoke to her about it. I was far too young to really understand. I guess I just put it together later, once I was older. She had loved children, planned to have a large family. But her husband died in the war. And that was back when you married for life. She never felt like she could marry again. Isn't that strange? She was a widow from her twenties. Well, I mean, I guess it was different then. And then you married for life and she felt she could never marry again. I guess it was harder, a war widow. One of the dead. I don't know, maybe there was more to it than that. I don't really know. No. My head is starting to explode. I know, right? Yeah. It's so crazy. It was the name they were going to call their first child. They talked about it and were going to try when it came back. Florence's family had a history of first-born girls, so they were convinced it was going to be a girl. Mm. It's hard to know if this is all true. These are stories I remember that I read when I was a child. Maybe I misread, maybe I misunderstood. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to remember what happened last week. Okay, diary. When I was eight, I Mother died. She slipped down the stairs. It was an accident. I had read a diary at that point and I knew she wasn't my real mother. So I found oh, a diary that day and I left. Walked out and across the street. life. We would swap places and take it in turns to do things and we were very careful. Whoever had been out that day would come back and write a detailed diary so that we were on the same page. We had a list of rules that said what we could and couldn't do in any given situation. It was exhaustive. We lived a second life through those rules. Rules for things that could only ever happen inside our imaginations. 
and we would consider all the permutations of future events and agree rules to walk our way through them. <sighs> all right. Oh, we missed this one. No, he doesn't keep a diary. That's my thing. I've kept one, well, as long as I can remember, since I was a girl. It helps make sense of my day. And when you're forced to put something into words, it just gives you perspective. Everyone's on the same page. Page. Chit chat. How is it going down there? Are you done? I'm no. Wow, I can only type no. No. Okay, I'll hang a bit longer. Buzz when you're ready. Hang some. So does that mean I'm getting close? Or is that because I typed page? I don't know. Uh, okay. Uh, am I supposed to have the answer by now? Because I mean, I don't really know what's going on. Um, Me, yeah. TT Styles, thank you so much for the A1 3 sub, TT. Thank you very much. Okay, um, she's being chased. Um, they're trying to catch her because she did something bad. I guess she broke the rules. Or maybe they think she did something bad. Maybe it wasn't her fault. She looks scared, not guilty. Maybe it was mistaken identity. Mm. Did they catch her? I don't know. Hannah was so smitten with Simon. She started getting jealous. Didn't want to share. Even the first date. We went to see Tom Cruise at the old Odeon. We both went. Kept changing places in the toilet. We only had one best dress, so we had to keep swapping clothes. Must have thought we had terrible bladder problems. The next date, it was my turn. Um, at the end, I let him kiss me. But that was it. Wow, that's so awesome. We didn't so awesome. And the, and the Ouija board had said to hold back. After that, Horrible. it was Hannah's turn and she slept with him. Broke the rules. Uh -oh. Deliberately broke the rules. She wanted to be the first to sleep with him. Wow, wow, <laughs> wow. I mean, that's when she got pregnant. Oh, On snap. that one time. Oh, snap, man. It lasted about six months. I tried to carry on, but everything was different. Hannah insisted I not pretend to be her around Simon, let alone sleep with him. We didn't share him like the others. The rules had changed. Me living in the attic had become weird in a way it hadn't been before. Hmm. This is so weird. Carl. Lots of videos on Carl, man. The Did drama is real, I know, right? It's getting, it's she getting better. better than me. She passed the test for us. I tried to take it and nearly crashed the car. <laughs> Learned that you can't rely on confidence to get you through everything. Mm, she is the shy one. She was especially shy around boys. If Hannah liked a boy, I would have to pursue him. It was that way with Carl. I met him first. She had such a crush. I let him take my virginity.